Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here. And tonight I want to talk about a knife that was lent to me um, via Goondock 77 in our BPEX pass around group. And um, I personally want to just say thank you so much, Goondock 77, again, for allowing me to take a look at these three send gut knives from Wii. Now, this one is called the, and I'm looking here on my paper, the Scepter. Now, he has it in left hand carry. I have, I, I mean, it's not my knife, so I am not going to switch it over. I don't want to mess anything up. He may have a preference here. So I've actually been carrying this in my back pocket. Excuse me. And, um, oh, and you may notice I'm having something to drink. I'm actually having San Pellegrino um, lemonade with some Tito's vodka. So that is right now absolutely wonderful. Um, so I think it really hits the spot. It's been a long, long day and it's only Wednesday. So this is the scepter. And as far as I know, this was the first send cut that was released. Now, right off the bat, what I absolutely love about this knife is that all the screws are T8, except for the pocket clip. The pocket clip is T6, but everything else is T8, which is fantastic. I love that. Now, I am not going to let the fact that I've been carrying this in my back pocket um, um, change the way I think about the knife because I actually, I don't like it. Um, it's a very thin knife, okay? And I will move this drink back just a little bit and I'll put it in comparison with what I have on my person. There is a 91 millimeter Deluxe Tinker. And here is a, oh, got a little bit of rust going on there on my VG10. I didn't clean it off that well. Um, I had cut a lime with that, so need to clean that off. Um, so you can see that the handle size on this is actually about a little bit smaller than the Delica about the same size as a 91 millimeter Victorinox, but we have about the same blade length on uh, versus the Delica here. So personally, I, I think it's a great looking knife, okay? Don't get me wrong, I think it's a good looking knife. It's a very useful knife. Um, nobody's fooling anybody that you can say this is a forward finger choil um, in my use. I was getting pretty close up to that blade um, in my use. So I think that's more of a sharpening choil than anything to clear the thumb stud. Uh, the reasons why I don't really like the knife. Um, personally, I really, really like Civivi and Wii's, um, I guess, knurling or finger uh, flipper um knurling here which is fantastic don't get me wrong i think this is very well done and and very well machined it's just this detent is i mean like you really have to put some work in there i mean this has the action of a civivi i mean it flies out just fine it it closes up really good um but you're you're seeing exactly what i don't like about the knife and i'm gonna get to it but it has a great action Okay, but the detent on this is a little insane. It's a little strong and the detent ball is ceramic. So, I mean, it's nothing surprising. Okay, but for a, I think it's about a 55 or a $45 knife. Um, it's great. You have wonderful skeletonization in here. You can see that as we look through there. Let me boost this light a little bit here. Um, you can see that you've got some skeletonization on the opposite side there. There we go. So, I mean, it makes it a really lightweight knife. It's it's very light. It feels good. Um, I just feel like it's it's pretty thin, okay? Um, the, the action on it is fantastic. I mean, it, it really flies open, really closes easily, but this is really sharp. When you, you have, when you have a strong detent, the jimping works against you. 
um, the, the jimping on this can work against you and tear up your fingertip. Um, you really have to put a lot of rock or power behind that flipper tab to really have it work for you, at least for this model. Um, this is the only one I have had experience using, so I'm basing my review on it. Now the thumb stud is good, but you're still working against that detent. The detent on this thing is really strong, and you can, I mean, you can see that I am really, really working to get that. Um, in some cases, hurting my thumb to do so. Um, I don't know, Gundog 77, is this thing hard to operate for you? I don't know, uh, let me know. But personally, I, um, I find it to be somewhat difficult to op operate. It works great. Don't get me wrong, it works great. It's just that detent. Now this is getting to the next thing. I really wish it had a detent ramp, okay? This thing really likes to click back open. Now I'm forcing it to do that, but if you have your thumb way up here, you're really having to clear it and then really shove it back down to close it. Uh, um, so it, it's a good knife don't get me wrong and they're working with a wonderful steel here it's 9CR and this is actually 9CR 18 MOV um, they have that printed right there and that is a wonderful steel that is wonderful stuff um, I've really enjoyed using it in the stone washed blade here really hides all the use that I've put into this knife, which is wonderful. Um, but just for me, I just, the, the detent on this is just so strong and the lack of a detent ramp kind of is a killer for me. The thumb stud, I love the combination of a thumb stud and flipper, um, opening mechanism, but boy, when you have to really work on it to get it open, it, it kind of kills the knife for me. The pocket clip is wonderful. It's Civivi, okay? It's Civivi and we, they know how to do a pocket clip and they do it right. And the lanyard hole is behind the pocket clip, not above it. And I really like that. I, I feel like this would take a lanyard, no problem. And it's left or right hand carry. It's, it's a wonderful knife. I think it's great, but I don't think I'll be picking one up. It's a, it's a small knife as well. Um, for a knife this size, I probably wouldn't go with something that's a flipper or a thumb stud. I'd probably be going with like a traditional or a, um, a lockback design um, like the Delica. I just feel like in this kind of size, the liner lock and the handle get kind of tricky to operate and because it, it's it, it's a liner, it's not a frame lock, you do have that assistance of not putting pressure on the lock when you're opening it. But at least in my large to medium hands, holding a small knife like this properly to open it can get a little tricky. There's not a lot to grip onto and you kind of have to shove that pocket clip, at least for me, because it's left-hand carry, uh, you have kept to sho shove that into your palm to really, and even then you can't really get it. So, I mean, it's a great knife. If you're looking for a budget knife, this is a fantastic knife as a budget knife. But if you're set on a certain brand, um, I would probably be going pre-owned on maybe even a Spyderco or a, a used Civivi or something like that. Just maybe get something a little bit better or find a specific brand that you want. Remember, I picked this up for, I think it was about $36 on eBay, pre-owned. And this specific one, I had to source a pocket clip out of my parts. So I had to sacrifice some of my parts to get a pocket clip on it. But because of that, I have a really, really good knife. Not saying that this isn't a good knife. It's just, if you want like a name brand, 
not very many people are gonna know what a send cut is. You're gonna have to tell them, okay, well, it's the budget budget end of Wii knives. And if you're talking to any knife guy, they're gonna be like, well, I thought Civivi was their, their, there we go, um, their, their budget brand. And then you have to, come on. And then you have to, then you have to do all this explaining, well, now this is their budget. Well, that doesn't make sense. You know, it's, I like it, but it's just kind of convoluted in its placement in the market, its design. I think the design's great looking. It's just not big hand friendly or fat finger friendly, I should say. So I think at this point I'm talking more negatives than positives. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And I will go, I'll, I'll just see you guys later in the next video. I have one more of these from Goondock 77 to review. And I really wanted to give it an honest review. And he allowed me to carry this for quite a while. And it really helped me understand the knife, what I really didn't like about the knife. And I really do appreciate him allowing me to do that. So thank you again, Goondock 77. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.